Well, hello, this is Charles Robinson of Wise Ministries International coming to you with a word about the Tipping Point 2013 uh, ministry gathering that's going to happen in San Antonio, Texas on April 18th through the 20th with an optional excursion day on Sunday the 21st to the Alamo and uh, to the Riverwalk and all the wonderful things that, uh, that San Antonio has to offer us. And this city that is used to fighting for its independence and this is something that we need to be fighting more and more for um, and pressing on towards the mark of the high prize of the calling in Christ Jesus for each one of our lives and for our nation. And so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the tipping point. So uh, really what we need from God as I've been seeking him is a new anointing, a new anointing, a new mantle. And let me tell you really a little bit more about that. The, the vision or the um, idea that the Lord gave us for 2013 is I saw myself at an ironing board. And I was ironing out the wrinkles of my life. And uh, there was a certain shape, a texture of fabric and color. And then I kind of was brought back and I saw all of these emerging Josephs ironing out uh, their differences and ironing out the wrinkles in their lives and preparing their own vessel. Uh, but some, seemingly being in obscurity, seemingly being alone. But then we all came together in the tipping point, gathering, and then we saw how each piece fit perfectly with the other pieces. And the borders and everything were just perfectly aligned. And it was God's grand scheme or God's grand design. Almost like the uniform uh, field theory or the theory of everything in physics, which is that uh, elusive theory, uh, really, why are we here? How does everything work together in, in particle physics uh, and matter and gravity? And, and so God does have a grand scheme. He does have a grand design, and you are a part of it. And I am calling you, I'm asking you to come to this gathering to see where you fit in. And we all were amazed in the vision uh, that nothing was lacking. God had provided for every single need and we're going to be needing to do the work of what the government's doing, you know, self-sustaining communities and, uh, you know, being able to, to grow together relationally, you know, and all the things that relate to what's coming and how we can really handle that. But God has no lack. Heaven's resources are going to be poured out at the tipping point. And we're looking at having uh, about 25 speakers, and I'll be announcing more about those speakers uh, as I get the confirmations, but at this time we have Randy Domain, uh, says he's going to come. We're going to have representation from all seven mountains, and uh, we're going to be uh, looking at uh, getting a tour of San Antonio Film Studios and uh, the cross that's uh, that overlooks the highway of Max Greiner, the, the noted uh, sculptor. And just so many different uh, speakers. There's something for everybody. We're going to have an option to have food all-inclusive so we can stay together and continue to eat in fellowship. And it's a very collaborative format. Uh, you're not just going to be spoken to for 90 minutes, but it's going to be, they're going to be general sessions, but also quick rifle sessions like we had last year, kind of in the vein of the TED Talks and in CEO space and, and some of what the secular groups are doing. Uh, we can learn from them. Amen. And so, um, it's going to be interactive, engaging, and uh, you're going to get strategic intelligence. You're going to get a new anointing. I believe I can say that in faith, that you will receive a new anointing. You're going to be remantled. It's going to be like Joseph's coat of many colors is coming upon you to be able to, to stand, to be able to thrive in 2013. Truly, the best is yet to come for 2013. And I, I encourage you to get my message, my video message on 2013. The best is yet to come. Um, we must catch this new anointing. We must wear it. We must, like Jacob, wrestle with God to receive it. Because it's his wisdom. It's his glory. It's his mantle, the Lord Jesus Christ. As it was, Joseph is a type of Jesus. And he wore that coat of many colors, many different needs being supplied. Issachar, in the Bible, uh, was in the Jezreel Valley. They supplied the needs of their uh, other tribes. Issachar 
in the tabernacle setup was on the eastern gates, along with Judah and Zebulun. Issachar is to provide the wages or the resources, because that's what Issachar means, wages, for the other tribes, especially Zebulun, who are the apostolic builders. So the combining of the Issachar and the Zebulun anointing is what we're going to receive uh, at the tipping point. God wants you to be prepared for what's coming. Experience the strong prophetic anointing at the tipping point. Experience portals being opened up over you, that you can be a gate of God. You know, Daniel 11.32 says, But the people that know their God shall, do, shall be strong and do exploits. Daniel 12.3 says, Those that are wise will shine like the bright expanse of the heavens, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Isaiah 60, Arise, shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord is rising upon you. The revelation, even as the eastern gate, the tribes rose up, they received the revelation first. And Issachar woke up the other tribes. It's time to wake up the other tribes. It's time to sound the alarm in God's holy mountain of Zion. Can somebody say amen? I feel like I'm preaching. I don't mean to be preaching right now. But I want you to be imparted to here. Say, I need a new anointing, Lord. I need a new anointing, Lord. I shall be anointed. I believe it's Psalm 131. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. You anoint my head like the horn of a unicorn. Isaiah 11, 2. The sevenfold spirit of God. The spirit of the Lord. The spirit of wisdom. Of understanding. Of counsel and might. Spirit of the knowledge and the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord brings wisdom. We need to get into his presence. It's almost like a solemn assembly is being called. Lord, speak to us. Lord, use us. Lord, empower us. Give us a new anointing. And we look forward to seeing you there. Amen. God bless you.